Marhaba. Ça, c'est du welcome en maltais. Oh, yeah. Sorry, it's welcome in Maltese. Marhaba. It's, uh, it has uh, Arabic uh, origins. So, uh, welcome. I'm very glad and happy, pleased to welcome you to the fourth edition of the IMF here in Malta. This uh, edition was postponed twice uh, due to coronavirus. A warm thank for, uh, to all of you coming from over 12 countries and especially to the key leaders' opinion, international leaders' opinion, and also to Professor Jean-Francois Stalder, who constructed with us this multidisciplinary and multicultural scientific event. This IMF 22 offers us the opportunity to meet, exchange, and prepare the future. I will carry on after my presentation. Just allow me to the welcome speech of our CAO of Pierre Fab Company, founder and supporter, the Pierre Fab Company is the founder and supporter of the Eczema Foundation. Mr. Eric Ducourneau will give you a speech, a welcome speech. Dear professor, dear doctors, dear colleagues, on behalf of the Pierre Fab Company, I would like to thank you, all of you, for attending this fourth edition of this event. A special thanks to Professor Jean-François Stadler, who mastered this program since more than 10 years now. Thank you for helping us understand the patient journey and for welcoming our collaboration. Since 2020, the world went through difficult times where solidarity and human being were important to maintain vital connections between patients and HCPs. The PayFab companies propose is a consistent and cohesive vision which resonates and makes sense in such period of time. Every time we care for a single person, we make the whole world better. Pierre-Fabre has a holistic approach of health care with convicts, a unique value proposition through our medical care division and our demo cosmetic and personal care division. This continuum of health care could be envisioned as a three-step process, prevention, treatment and support, in which patients and health care professionals are major actors. Partners, consumers, and patients are waiting for more natural products, transparency, and commitments for brands. Our holistic approach respects environment and human being through Green Mission 5 commitments, innovate, protect, respect, guarantee, and engage. Prevention is the first step of this approach and a major driver in our programs, developments and partnerships. Few examples to share with you. I would like to start with our fostered collaboration approach with healthcare professionals could be illustrated with several actions. First, the step up of awareness campaigns for melanoma or actinic keratosis and programs such as United Against Skin Cancers commits Pierre Farm in a public health challenge. Second, the collaboration in educational driven studies such as the SAFE study on the improper use of sunscreen and the poor impact of public health messages since 30 years have been highlighted. Third, a co-development programs within the Eczema Foundation, the so-called POP training program dedicated to pharmacists with the support of Société Française de Dermatologie, JET, 
groupe d'éducation thérapeutique en dermatologie. And from 2022, the US NEA, National Eczema Association. It helps understanding eczema, preventing corticophobia, optimizing local treatment, understanding therapeutic fail, maintaining treatment, and understanding pharmacy's role in the patient journey. The patient journey, understanding for the PRFAB company, includes at a very early stage in the life cycle management, the product co-development with patients and with all the counterpart and patient associations. PRFAB set up a co-development charter, the first transparent approach to comprehensive engagement of patients and patient associations in demo cosmetics and uh, cosmetic products. The first step was on Vitiligo, the VPOC, last April in Amsterdam. An omnichannel strategy in the healthcare management system is a way to offer a 360-degree approach for the healthcare professional and patients. Digital, predictive medicines and artificial intelligence are innovative pathway. In digital, PFM set up two platforms, DermaWeb, with its app including skin drugs and skin yag, and oncoguide.com, which are proposed to healthcare professionals to better understand and also prevent and support skin disorders. PFAB support predictive medicine and in March 22, we had the first publication in predictive medicine in eczema and artificial intelligence in the journal Clinical Translational Allergy. It will be transcribed in 23 in the PO SCORAD applications. Treatment is the second step for us. It means providing innovations to patients through partnerships in research for more than 60 years. PFAB has always been open to partnership involving the development of new therapeutic solutions to reinforce our footprint in dermatology, like, for example, with the group HEALS or Esperare Foundation, or to provide solutions in medical dermatology. Our medical care business unit develops and market drugs, isotretinoin, 5-FU, emollient, to treat the main skin disease in more than 80 countries today. As complementary care, a range of natural medicine and aromatherapy references for over 30 years combines a pharmaceutical rigor with the properties of plants. In the Dermocosmetic Personal Care Business Unit, eight complementary brands, six international, five dedicated to skin, scalp and hair, based on conscious care, provides the best dermatological expertise with pharmaceutical rigor to support patients. Support. Support is the third step. It means for PRFAB innovating, listening to our patients and developing scientific knowledge. First, we innovate by going beyond borders with, for example, Interactome program. It's a unique R&D approach that brings us to consider all the interactions of humans with their environment, including their mucosmetics products, and to analyze the data from the last decades of investigative research in skin and hair. We have already some patents on interrectum approach for their mucosmetic. Second, we listen to our patients. That's a priority. On a daily basis, at the Hydrotherapy Center in Aven, which is leading to a global medical care, including treatments, workshops, advice, and exchanges with our expert medical staff. At the lab too that we have created in France, in Toulouse, where we meet our consumers. They are going every day in this shop, and we are able to provide to them advices regarding their skin disorder or scalp disorder or hair disorders. Third example, and since decades now, support means for PRFAB working 
hand in hand with healthcare professional and patient associations and directly with patients. Putting together our complementary expertise, we are stronger. It led us in 2021 to increase by 70% our publications to enroll 1,000 patients in our all stage of clinical studies from early stage to observational studies. Sorry. And last but not least, because patience is really at the heart of our DNA, we have built 17 partnerships with international or local patient associations. As a conclusion, I would like to wish you a very fruitful meeting. I'm sure it will help us to find our new ways of collaboration, new solution for patients. It gives me the occasion too, to underline that it is in 2022 the 60th anniversary of Piafab company and I'm very happy to share it with you and to have the opportunity with this video to, uh, I could say, celebrate this anniversary because it's too a an anniversary of partnerships with healthcare professional and of course with pharmacists and dermatologists. Thank you for your attention and have a nice meeting. So like uh, Mr. Ducourneau said, in 2022, we celebrate the 60th anniversary of the Pierre Fab Laboratories and uh, he proposed some videos we have we're going to share, so you can uh, have an idea about the story for six minutes time, don't worry, and have an idea about the spirit and the values of the founder, Mr. Pierre Fab. À l'aube de ses 25 ans, Pierre Fabre, jeune pharmacien passionné de botanique, rachète une officine installée sur la grande place de Castres. Un comptoir pour la vente, une arrière-boutique pour les préparations magistrales. C'est là, en 1958, qu'il utilise pour la première fois un principe actif extrait des racines du petit hou pour créer le cyclo 3. Porté par le succès de ce médicament vinotonique innovant et son esprit d'entreprise, Pierre Fabre fonde sa société le 30 mai 1962. Depuis, à l'image du petit hou qui reste vert et feuillu en toute saison, l'entreprise connaît un succès florissant. Au mi-temps des années 70, Pierre Fabre décide de concentrer l'activité de son groupe dans le Tarn. Tout se joue alors dans le quartier de Perrodel, à Castres, où Pierre Fabre installe l'entreprise dès 1962, puis à Soual, où s'implante la première usine. Chaque jour, sa quatre chevaux parcourt la quinzaine de kilomètres entre les deux sites pour suivre le développement de sa société et rencontrer ses équipes. Fidèle à l'ambition d'être partout tout en étant là, le groupe s'internationalise tandis que les sites se multiplient en Occitanie. Pierre Fabre participe activement au dynamisme local, par des actions quotidiennes en faveur de la jeunesse, de l'éducation et de la culture, et des engagements marquants comme son soutien indéfectible au club de rugby du Castre Olympique, ou encore son investissement dans la création de l'Oncopole qui fait émerger des ruines d'AZF, un centre d'excellence en oncologie. Lors d'une prise de décision difficile, Pierre Fabre s'exclame « Rendez-vous compte, mais c'est comme si vous me demandiez d'abattre un arbre !» Une formule qui en dit long sur l'amour de l'homme pour la nature et sa préservation. Qu'il s'agisse de la formulation de produits à base de plantes, de l'extraction végétale à Gaillac, de la création de jardins botaniques ou encore de la découverte des propriétés de l'eau thermale à Vennes, cette passion, Pierre Fabre, en fait la sève de l'expertise du groupe. Cet amour croisé de la science et de la nature permettra notamment de percer les mystères de la pervenche de Madagascar pour créer en 1982 la Navelbine, premier anticancéreux du groupe. Aujourd'hui, la majorité des produits des laboratoires contiennent un principe actif issu de la nature, dont le célastrol, qui a récemment révélé ses vertus aux équipes de Ducray pour le traitement du psoriasis. L'engagement réciproque entre le groupe et ses collaborateurs trouve sa meilleure illustration dans le plan d'actionnariat salarié lancé en 2005. Aujourd'hui, près de 9 salariés sur 10 participent au plan Ruscus. Ils contribuent ainsi 
au maintien de l'indépendance du groupe et son temps retour associé aux bénéfices générés. Cette même logique de partenariat fait socle aux missions de la Fondation Pierre Fabre. Reconnue d'utilité publique depuis 1999, elle lutte contre le fléau des faux médicaments en Afrique et œuvre à améliorer l'accès aux soins des populations du Sud. Quand la Fondation accompagne la création d'un centre dédié aux victimes des violences sexuelles de guerre en Centrafrique, c'est un peu du travail de chaque collaborateur qui prend un autre sens, nourrissant la fierté collective. Loin du légendaire Eureka d'Archimède, l'histoire des succès et des innovations des laboratoires Pierre Fabre s'incarne dans la vision d'un homme qui regarde le monde différemment. Cette capacité à dépasser les usages établis est présente derrière l'histoire de tous nos produits dans tous les domaines. Elle est fondamentale lors de l'invention de la dermocosmétique unissant pour la première fois le médical à la cosmétique. Surprenante, quand l'exploitation de procédés de confiserie conduit à la création des pastilles Drill et d'un savoir-faire unique en Europe. Pionnière, quand en 2009, la cosmétique stérile naît de procédés jusqu'ici réservés à l'industrie pharmaceutique. Et fascinante aujourd'hui, quand la dermocosmétique reproduit le fonctionnement de la peau grâce au biomimétisme. Ce sont des voyages et des rencontres qui ont favorisé l'expansion des laboratoires Pierre Fabre à travers le monde. Le changement d'échelle du groupe débute en 1969 par le lancement du Cyclotress à Barcelone. Olé Dans les années 80, la rencontre de Pierre Fabre et Yoshiharu Fukuhara, héritier de la marque japonaise Shiseido, inaugure le début d'une collaboration fructueuse avec le Japon. Tous deux partagent une forte culture familiale et un goût prononcé pour l'art. Au fil des ans, les liens commerciaux se développent au Japon, tandis que les estampes du Mont Fuji habillent les murs du domaine du Carla à Castres. 40 ans plus tard, l'Asie est le premier marché de conquête internationale du groupe qui relève chaque jour le défi de concentrer 95% de sa production industrielle en France. De l'Australie au Brésil, en passant par les États-Unis, la Pologne ou la Tunisie, à chaque nouveau pays et continent investi, c'est le rayonnement du savoir-faire français qui s'étend. It's my turn. Just uh, allow me to make uh, a short reminder presentation of the Pierre Fab Eczema Foundation. The Pierre Fab Eczema Foundation, formerly the foundation for atopic dermatitis, is a Pierre Fab Laboratories found corporate foundation. It was created in 2004 by the company founder, Mr. Pierre Fabre himself. The foundation is non-promotional and is committed to improving education, information, and research on eczema. The Pierre Fabre Eczema Foundation collaborates, dedicated to all types of eczema, collaborates with healthcare professionals and supports patients so they can join forces to help them to live better with eczema. You see, now our signature is living better with eczema. The Pierre Fab Foundation members and founding members are, like you know now, Pierre Fab Dermocosmetic as a member founder, and the laboratories of Aven, Laboratoire Dermatologique Aven, Laboratoire Dermatologique du Cray, and Aderma. The Pierre Fab Foundation now is just to, this is the team. The team I start with um, Marqueta. He's uh, our general manager. And she is giving a lot of her precious time to the foundation. She had other function in the Pierre Fabre laboratories. She's the head of the scientific uh, medical corporation. So thank you, Marqueta. Then we have uh, Catherine Jean de Coster. And for, unfortunately, she's not here for uh, health reasons. But we have another Catherine, 
This is Catherine Bessac. She's here uh, somewhere. <laughs> She's the head of the patient centricity department. And she, she's helping us in the scientific organization of this event. And we are grateful to her and to Céline de Carpigny. Also, she's from the training department. So thank you for both. We have also Sarah Bedos, who is in charge. He is a community manager and in charge of all the digital project. You will hear about her tomorrow. And our Delphine Jose, our assistant, directory assistant, you maybe know her because she was in charge of all your ticketing. And hope uh, everyone is here. Somebody now is in Turkey or whatever. <laughs> so. I think they will have patience, patience, patience. <laughs> okay, I have uh, also to thank the former manager of the foundation. I will talk about Chantal Segar and Hélène Passerini, or most of you know them, and normally. Sophie Mary, who inspired this international meeting four years ago. Thank you, Sophie. Now we are here. And now she is the general manager of the Aven Thermal Water Hydrotherapy Center. And she's with us also attending this meeting. And me. I help them. Just uh, to give him some advice, and but I'm the president. But uh, it's like an honor for me to be the president of the, this foundation. So our lines of action: scientific research, like we said, or Mr. Ducourneau said also, research on eczema, clinical studies, and or academic partnerships. Patients, we are a lot oriented, patient oriented, and information for patients to help them to live better with their eczema, like website, workshops, and innovative methods. And also the, for the patient, the therapeutic education, with more than 44 atopy schools present in more than 16 countries. This uh, atopic school they develop they are developing caregivers training for eczema and facilitating alliances between patients and healthcare professionals. We have uh, adults we have also children, all the healthcare professionals like doctors, nurses, psychologists, or nutritionists, etc. They talk and share their experience about the disease, treatments, alternat alternatives to scratching, and managing of the eczema. We also made a lot of uh, tools and materials developed specifically for training healthcare professionals or for use in therapeutic education, like the leaflet, protect your hands, or the goose game, the PO score sheet, the eczema book, and the fingertip rule booklet how to use corticosteroids and don't abuse. Our achievements, some of them, but the most important is ATP days for health caregivers, sport days for patients, 
Silvo therapy discovery days for patients only with Mr. Chavigny, who is here. Pop training, this for the patient's pharmaceutical journey and dedicated for pharmacists. We started in France, in Algeria, and next in Canada. Maybe we started also in Canada. POS Corad application and social network, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, managed by Sarah Bedos. Also, we have partners, a lot of partners. Some of them are here, like uh, ISAD, ISAD Open Task Force, the GET, Global Skin, Papillon against eczema. This is the, the ship here. AFRAL, EOS, Spanish also association, Association de Afectados por la Dermatitis Atopica. Imperial College, London, and so on. Now, I'll talk to you about the IMF today. We started these meetings in 2010 in Toulouse. It was the first meeting. Two years after in 2012 in Rome, and in 2004, in Athens. So this, these meetings allowed Atopi schools and KOL to meet and generate the publication of international guidelines. Now we are in Malta. This is in, uh, you see, in Toulouse, Rome, and Athens. And now we are in Malta. We have uh, 126 particip participants from 22 countries, 64 doctors, 14 nurses, six pharmacists, four patient associations, four patient experts, and two psychologists. So welcome to all of you. This event is dedicated for healthcare professionals involved in TPE, doctors, nurses, psychologists, pharmacists, and also partners of the foundation. To define the roadmap for TPE in eczema and the role of health professionals around the field of the patient journey. Also to highlight the importance of consultation between all the players involved in effective care and how to implement it in practice, as well as the integration of digital tools and their proper place. We'll have two plenary sessions and two workshop sessions. Tomorrow, after a Friday and Saturday morning for the workshop feedbacks. Finally, I want to address a special thanks to each person who helped us to organize and make this IMF 22 in Malta happen. So thank you. Ah. This is, thank you. Enjoy your meeting, enjoy your stay.